And the Heat just where where can you get the answers from? Where do you get the answers from? Well, well Jimmy Butler's got to come up with a game. It, it's a tall order, man, because Celtics fans know and Heat fans know that we've been here before in the Eastern Conference Finals with the Celtics taking the three games to two lead back to Boston. Yeah. But to use the famous Boston sports phrase, LeBron's not walking through that door. Yeah. And Jimmy Butler's got to walk through with a LeBron-type game because it does not appear that the scoring is going to come from anywhere else. I mean, uh, the Struess was on fire, but uh, he's not anymore. And Bam Adebayo can only do so much. Yeah. Duncan Robinson doesn't appear to have that Vinnie Microwave Johnson feel to him anymore. Um, and then the answer is, where's Tyler Hero? Is he going to come back? He, it, it clearly is a missing ingredient here. If he can come back, he's got to. It's it's that simple. I don't know yeah. what's ailing him, but he's got to give it at least a try. And I'm not saying he's not trying. But for game six, it's got to be all hands on deck here. And... Um, the fact that they do they do appear to be missing a gear, and certainly with Butler not providing a everybody get on my back moment, and you have to give the Celtics defense credit for that. They've got the defensive player of the year. We even mentioned Marcus Smart's name in the first seven minutes of this basketball conversation. You do have to give it up to the way that the Celtics are playing to make the Heat look completely flaccid on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, 80 points last night. I mean, that's not the way the NBA is played right now. You know, some teams get 80. I mean, we've seen Dallas score 72 and a half. You know, and Miami only gets 80 for the game. Well, you got to give it up, like I said, to, to, to the way that Boston's playing. And then the obvious. That was stated by none other than Joel Embiid on Twitter last <laughs> night. Miami needs another star. And then he capitalized star in a very interesting way. Autocorrect, maybe. So, I mean, let's spin it, Rich. Come on, let's, let's stir it up. Well, that's what Twitter's there for, we right? Know, we know what Embiid is saying. Miami mm. needs him. Him. That is hey, not Pat Riley, all what he's saying. Come and that's get a, me. That is not even close to what he's saying. Come and get me, Pat Riley. <laughs> Much, what, see, what Joel's doing is he's seeing Pat Beverly. He's seeing J.J. Redick. He's seeing their post-playing career and their current playing career in the media. So he's just trying to like no. make, that make some an interesting either foray assessments. into the paparazzi yeah. we didn't see coming or yeah. the Pat that he sees is Riley. <laughs> look, man, look, look we the had Pat a great he couple. Sees is the, hold on a second. The Pat that he sees is the Riley who has come and gotten up. <laughs> other team stars before because he knows that shot of Pat Riley that they took where he was basically swallowing his own vomit after Jalen after Brown, Brown dunk. posterized I'm not being the Luca <laughs> in this equation Get out of the way. <laughs> when Jalen Brown I'm went good. and he rose <laughs> and just absolutely posterized everybody staring at him and they cut away to Pat Riley in the audience, in the crowd. The morning, and you could see like he was swallowing his own vomit that he knew. He knows. Man, does he know. He's kind of he's kind of like the Jerry West character in Winning Time. <laughs> you know, sitting back there knowing everything that needs to be done, that has to be done, the will that you need to have to survive and win in this league. In these moments, he knows. That's the path that maybe Joel Embiid is seeing. Because that's what the that that's the path that was going to break up the heat bubble team for Giannis or attempted to do. Because he sees this. He knows he's got the right coach. Yep. He knows he's got the right coach. And he's got the right number of players. He's got the right type of players there. But he knows that damn, he he once had Bosch and Wade and knew he missed he was missing a piece. Yep. Right? No, uh, well, Bosch came. Bosch came. Bosch came Bosch right. signed before LeBron. first, then they, then LeBron. Yeah, yeah. but they was all right, coordinated. That, I missed my my mark on that one. Yeah, that's okay. well. That's why we're here to help. But that's 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 what I'm saying. He knows that. He knew he was missing an ingredient. Well, he that ingredient's know. not Embiid. So I, I, I mean, now, okay, I've, okay. I've now wound it. I've now wound it up. I've now wound I mean, it up. It is I'm just saying we well, had because you know it's impossible. Embiid's not going anywhere. We spent some quality time together, guys. I thought we bonded, and we get back to the show, and now you're just trying to set me off. Look, again. I've been <laughs> saying that Embiid should demand a trade to Dallas to play with Luca, but like if he goes to Miami, he's not going anywhere. He's still in your conference, though. Bro. I don't. I don't want to. But he's to right. Miami, he's really right. Do. He's right. Miami needs another star, man. Yeah. So do we. And Riley knows it. 
Yeah, Riley knows it. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.